First at five, new information tonight on how police tracked down a Woonsocket man accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting a Providence teenager on Valentine's Day. And Providence police say Francis Scott posed as an Uber driver to lure the victim into his car. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen broke the story at noon. He joins us now live with the new details tonight. We're told detectives worked around the clock trying to find the man responsible. They're confident they got him. It was February 14th. A 15 year old girl was walking to high school, the Providence Career and Technical Academy. Providence police say that's when a man pulled up next to her on Elmwood Avenue. The male had told her that he was an Uber driver and offered her a ride. Uh, She'd gotten the car. He did not work for Uber. Major David LePayton says he drove her behind a gym on Adelaide Avenue and sexually assaulted her. Then he left. That's when the week long search for a suspect began. The school is that way, but she says he went this way. Providence police then asked the 15 year old for exactly the route the abductor took. Authorities then pieced together storefront surveillance video, tracking the car, but more importantly, the driver. Detectives worked on this case uh, night and day. LePayton says the man is Francis Scott, a Winsocket resident. The bottom line is he was charged. We are 100% confident we have the man that did that. He was arrested Wednesday night, charged with second degree sexual assault and kidnapping. This gentleman here is what we would call an opportunist. So we saw a young, young girl walking. He stopped, made conversation, and uh, managed to lure her into the car. Scott was released on bail today, $40,000 with surety. Coming up new on Eyewitness News at 6, I'll tell you how the victim's doing. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. The night a Woonsocket man is behind bars accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting a teenage girl on her way to school. The story was first breaking on Eyewitness News at noon. Police tell us the 15-year-old student was attacked on Elmwood Avenue in Providence last week after accepting a ride from a stranger. Now, this man, Francis Scott, is locked up at the ACI while the teenage victim recovers from the traumatic impact of this horrifying encounter. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has the story. Well, I was told at the news conference today the teenager is doing as well as can be expected after being kidnapped and sexually assaulted. Headed back to high school, a 15 year old Providence girl told police a car stopped next to her on Elmwood Avenue. Major David LePayton with Providence PD says the man claimed to be an Uber driver and would give her a lift. She got in the car. As soon as he started driving, she realized that he was going in the opposite direction of the school. LePayton says he kidnapped the teenager and drove her behind this gym on Adelaide Avenue. He sexually assaulted her. Then he left. LePayton says the girl told authorities the path they took and police pieced together surveillance video to find the car. They looked at the videos and made determinations, uh, continued the investigation with it, and uh, thankfully it worked out for us and we were able to apprehend the uh, suspect. 36-year-old Francis Scott of Winsocket. He was arrested Wednesday, charged with second degree sexual assault and kidnapping. I asked LePayton how the 15 year old is doing. She's doing as well as can be expected. Scott was arraigned this morning. He was released on a $40,000 bail with surety. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.